This is Sheldor the Conqueror. We are about to enter Atzel's Fortress. Now, this is a long run, so let's do another bladder check. Math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. How about we go rock, paper, scissors? Dude, I don't think so. No. Anecdotal evidence suggests that in a game of rock, paper, scissors, players familiar with each other will tie 75 to 80% of the time due to the limited number of outcomes. <laughs> I suggest rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> what? It's very simple. Look, scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. Okay, I think I got it. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Oh. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. Sheldon. Penny. What do you want? I need access to the Cheesecake Factory's walk-in freezer. No, honey, I already told you the hamburger meat is fresh and stored at a safe temperature. <laughs> Oh, dear God. <laughs> Leonard! <coughs> Leonard, I'm sick! <laughs> Leonard! <coughs> Leonard, I'm sick! <coughs> Leonard! <coughs> Leonard! <coughs> Leonard! <coughs> Leonard, my comforter fell down and my sinuses hurt when I bend over. <laughs> my Incredible Hulk hands signed by Stan Lee. Oh, oh my. I've admired these for years. So does that mean we can go with the girls again? Hulk agreed to second date with puny humans! Hey, Shelly. What you doing? Size ratio was all wrong. Couldn't visualize it. Needed bigger carbon atoms. Sure, sure. <laughs> How did you get into this place? Back door has a five-pin tumbler system, single-circuit alarm, child's play. <laughs> you can start sorting protons and neutrons while I build carbon atoms. No, I don't think so. We need to go home now. But I'm still working. If you don't come out of there, I'm gonna have to drag you out. You can try, but you'll never catch me. Bazinga. 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 Penny, Leonard. Would you be able to answer some questions I'm having about the events of last night? Sure. Question one, where are my pants? You might want to check YouTube. What do I search? It's already loaded, just hit play. All right, people, let's get down to the math. It is only three-dimensional thinking that limits our imagination. 
Can I take my pants off over my head? Of course not. My body's in the way. But if we had access to higher dimensions, we could move our pants around our bodies through the fourth dimension. (laughs) And our days of dropping trousers would be over. This couldn't be any more humiliating. Uh, give it a minute. Now for the astronomers in the audience, get ready to see the dark side of the moon. <laughs> and here's Uranus. Hey, Sheldon, you busy? I'm always busy. This mind is capable of advanced multitasking. Yeah, currently, I'm attempting to solve the Penrose Conjecture. I'm composing my Nobel acceptance speech for when I've solved the Penrose Conjecture. <laughs> and I'm wondering how mermaids have babies. Don't they lay eggs on a rock? Now I've got room for another thing. What do you want? Look, I know our winter thermostat setting is 72 degrees, but I'm a little warm, so I'm going to turn it down. to me. Soft kitty is for when you're sick. You're not sick. Injured and drugged is a kind of sick. (laughs) Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Wait, wait. Let's sing it as a round. I'll start. (laughs) Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. So that's where you come in. I'll start over. (laughs) Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. (laughs) I've got all night, Sheldon. Sheldon, there's something else I've been wanting to say, but before I do, I just, I want you to know that you don't have to say it back. I know you're not ready, and I don't want you to say it just because social convention dictates that you- I love you you too. You said it. There's no denying I have feelings for you that can't be explained in any other way. I briefly considered that I had a brain parasite. (laughs) But that seems even more (laughs) far-fetched. The only conclusion was love. I know what's happening. This is a panic attack. Soccer Mom 09 says to lie down with your feet elevated. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just because I love you doesn't mean girls are allowed in my room. Okay, here. I should note, I'm having some digestive distress. So if I excuse myself abruptly, don't be alarmed. Oh. A napkin. Turn it over. (laughs) To Sheldon, live long and prosper, Leonard Nimoy. 
he came into the restaurant, sorry the napkin's dirty, he wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> I possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy? Do you realize what this means? <laughs> All I need is a healthy ovum and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>